Artie the Whippet is one in a million. His family adores him, but his doggy days are numbered. Don't worry, this isn't a sad story. Wait until you see what his family's doing for Artie. Not every dog's day starts at the coffee counter. Hi, could we get a puppuccino, please? But Artie's does. He's the dog packing a whole lot of life into his two short years. That's one puppuccino down on this dog's special bucket list. That's right, Artie the Whippets got a list. A bucket list of all the things he and Charles and Arthur and Mum Georgie have got to tick off. Tick. Now, the list is long because Artie's aggressive cancer could mean he has one month left or six. So, for Artie's family, every day counts. I just want Artie to live his best life. Georgie's a palliative care vet nurse. She met Artie at work and decided she had to have him. So, Artie's owner had a change in life circumstances. She had to move overseas. Um, and right around that time, Artie developed a limp. And after taking him to the vet, she was given the news that he only had a couple of weeks to a couple of months left to live. Um, she didn't feel comfortable at the time putting him to sleep because he's young, he's vibrant, he's got so much life. So she reached out to us um, to see if we knew someone that could take him. Um, and she didn't have to look very far. <laughs> And just like that, Artie, the three-legged dog, had two new big brothers to help him tackle what will be the best days of his life, spent seaside on Victoria's Ballerine Peninsula. I wish I had another 20 years with him because he's perfect and he's so curious about the world. He has to stick his nose in everything. So no sticking was quickly scribbled on the list. Item number seven, treasure hunt. Artie treated to treats as long as he could sniff them out. The bucket list slowly getting ticked off. Artie turning artiste, putting his paws in paint. Oh, that's so cute. And that's good enough to frame. Artie's family have also planned a dog-friendly camping trip, a meal of chicken nuggets and a bird-watching session. It makes me feel good that he's not just at home all the time sleeping his days away. We're living with him in every moment. Artie's bucket list doesn't just make for happy yeah. memories. Yeah. Bart is a part of a healthy grieving process, according to vet of 35 years, Alicia Kennedy. We're recognising more and more now just how profound pet loss is for people. For many families, the death of a pet is their children's first experience with death and loss. It's a profound learning opportunity for children to understand that death isn't something to be frightened of. It is part of life. Alicia's top tips for a bucket list is to remember quality of life over quantity of life. And I think sensory enrichment is one of the most beautiful things that you can do to uh, nourish a dog's life when their world is shrinking through their health. So think about preparing their favourite last meal, a drive in the car, a walk where they can stop and smell the roses, a massage and a visit to see a special friend. So celebrating a, the life of a loved one, pre and post, is healthy. Make your time with them count. Make it really important and special and full of memories.